Hi everyone, my name is Megan Newton and I'm one of the art teachers at the high school and I'm here to attempt to give you five good minutes on the Bitmoji classroom craze. So when we think about the way that we present information to students, we normally do it in list form, uh, maybe if it's a series of websites that they have to go to or a series of links that they have to go to or videos to watch, it's always in a list form, not as engaging. So with the Bitmoji Classroom, it's just another way to give information to students in more of an interactive and engaging way. So I'm going to show you just my basic classroom setup and then I'm going to make a classroom with you right now. I have a second video and in that second video, there's a couple more different websites that you can use and more tips and tricks. So the second video is just a little bit more advanced than just this basic one. So let's just go ahead and look at one of my example classrooms. I have set up my classrooms by centers, so drawing, painting, collage, um, thinking about the way that you can set up your classrooms. It could be by central unit theme. It could be by your preps. You have just limitless options. So with my classroom here, every single object that you see is hyperlinked to a different video. So when I click on the pen, it's going to bring up a YouTube video and it's going to be like that for all of my objects. And you don't have to link to a YouTube video. You could link to a Google form. You could link to a Google doc. You could link to a different slide presentation. You could link to a website. So anything that you need to, you can just go ahead and link to in the Bitmoji classroom. So let's go ahead and start making our blank classroom. The first thing you're going to have to do if you don't already have this done, you need to download the Bitmoji app to your phone and from the app you can design your character and you can change the clothes and the hair and it's really just up to you how you want to personalize your own Bitmoji character. Then after you have that, then you are going to download the Bitmoji Chrome extension and this is really going to be the biggest game changer for you when you download the Chrome extension. So you're gonna open up a new Google slide presentation and you can just delete these boxes. And we need to add our room background first. So I'm just gonna to go to Google and I'm just gonna search room background, go to images, and I'm gonna find a room background that speaks to me. And I like to keep it really simple. This is just a preference thing. So just the wall and the floor like this one. Anytime you start messing around with perspective with a focal point like this image, you're going to have to change the perspective of your objects that are on the wall. So it's not impossible. It's just going to be a little bit more extra work in my opinion. So I'm going to choose this one and I'm just going to download it. For your room background, you do not want to copy and paste like you're going to be doing for some of the other objects. And that is because um, kids can actually physically move your room background and you don't want them to do that. So you are going to go to background, go to choose image, and then you can just upload your video, your image, sorry. And then you click add to theme so that way, whenever I add a new slide, it's always going to be the same room background for all of them. All right, so now we have our blank room background. Now we can start adding in some of our fun classroom elements. This is the most addicting part, and this is just the part that's the most fun, in my opinion. You go to insert image, search the web. And ooh, if I wanted to add um, a chair, because maybe I want my girl to be sitting down. I'm just going to type in chair, and then whatever I do, I have to make sure that I type in transparent background or just transparent, because we don't want the white box around your image. So this chair looks comfy. All right. 
So now whenever we resize our images, we always, always, always take from the corners, never from the sides or the tops or the bottoms. That's going to make your image look wonky. So I'm just going to show you. So if I take it from the side, it's smashed together. So we always resize from a corner. And I'm just going to drop my chair right there. And let's say I want to add a whiteboard. So I'm just going to type in my whiteboard, kind of search to see if there's one that I like. See what this one looks like. Yeah. I'm going to resize it from the corner. And with this one, I'm just going to experiment. I actually might be able to stretch it. Let's see what it looks like when it's stretched. Mm, not too bad. And then let's go ahead and add a poster. Okay. So now that I've added my poster, I'm just going to set it right here. And there's something that you can do in Google Slides. Now I could just resize this and this would actually be fine, but I just wanna show you what it means to order something. So when I right click my poster and I go to order and I'm gonna send backwards, and I'm gonna do this a couple times because you have different layers going on with your Google Slides. So you might just have to do that a couple times to get to the layer that you want. Um, so now I have just kind of the basics down there, and I'm going to add my Bitmoji. So when I come up to my Chrome extensions, it's the green box, I click on Bitmoji, and then all of my Bitmojis will show up in these different poses. And um, when you copy and paste from the Chrome extension, you don't have the white box, it's automatically transparent. So I like to search for pose. This is pretty simple because you don't get a lot of the background images with this. And, um, I want my Bitmoji to be kind of falling back into the chair. All right, so she could be sitting this way and this kind of works, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip her horizontally. So when I click on the image and I click Format Options, this new window is gonna pop up. I click Size and Rotation, and then I just flip it horizontally this way because I wanted her to be sitting the other way. And I'm gonna take this little blue circle and I'm just going to kind of twist her a little bit so it looks more or less like she's just lounging right there. All right, so now um, we can start to hyperlink what we need to do. So I want to hyperlink a video to the space poster. So I am just going to go to YouTube to grab my link that I want and I could type in educational video about space. This one looks good to me. And I'm just going to copy and paste the URL. Make sure I'm clicked on my poster. Right now I'm clicked on my Bitmoji. So I'm going to click on my poster. I go to insert and link. And then my link is going to show up. I just copy and paste and click apply. And now it's there. So I can double check that and then I can go to present and then when I click on the poster the video is going to show up. Now there's lots of different ways on how you can publish this so that way um, when the students receive the link it's going to be automatically in presentation mode and that is going to be in my next video. So I hope to see you all in the next video because we're going to go over animated Bitmojis and I'm going to go over just more cropping and changing colors and just a little bit more advanced techniques. So thank you for watching and have fun.